controls were not messed with at all. Yeah, I've uh, had that happen once where I <laughs> forgot to change my tag going into a match. Had to learn the control scheme on the fly. Still almost managed to win somehow, but uh, unfortunately lost too many stocks early on in the learning process. In the learning curve of learning someone's entirely new control scheme. Yep. Got to be able to think on your toes sometimes. Pokemon so I think most of this matchup, you're probably going to end up see Fox versus Squirtle majority of the time, I would think, because that's the fastest character PT has. Other than Charizard, it's decently fast on the ground, but I think you need fast buttons too. And I think Squirtle is going to be able to compete the most of all the Pokemon with Fox. Yeah, I mean, Squirtle's definitely the go-to once you need to rush someone down or compete with speed. But the problem is, Squirtle doesn't really have that kill power, so there may come a point where they're going to have to switch off a of Squirtle, and it'll be interesting to see if Cal chooses Ivysaur or Charizard to go for those kills. And I've played against Ducks enough to know that he kind of starts out choosing like simpler options at the start and like getting a feel for you, and like poking around the lasers as he is now, kind of commandeering neutral, and then slowly understanding exactly, you know, kind of the flow chart of what you're doing as a player, and he'll start, you know, keeping up the momentum and pushing even harder back against you. Yeah, I mean, right now, Duck's doing a good job just controlling the stage here, keeping Cal close to the ledge and not really giving him too many options. Like I said, Ducks has a lot of PT matchup experience, especially against a very good one like Gumbo. So I think if Cal is able to keep competing and doing well in this matchup, and especially against Ducks, it will mean a lot for him as a player. Yep. So far, he finally has gotten Ducks to the ledge, and he's taken almost 70% just from that one interaction. Yeah, I mean, even using that water jet to try and keep Ducks out there even longer, definitely a good call, because the less Fox can move around, the easier he is to manage. The Ivysaur pick here is interesting, because I feel like Ivysaur can throw out good constant hitboxes that will make Fox scared. But he's yep. also very slow, so that Fox is able to go ahead and try to, you know, not play around with Ivysaur too much, just get him out of there. Yeah, so it's going to be up to Cal to really capitalize on those longer hitboxes that Ivysaur has, but opting to go to Charizard there. Get that extra jump just to make sure you can get down safely. Definitely a good call. Yeah, and even Charizard here, like the back here to secure the kill was very smart, but Charizard's just so good at being able to hold shield and kind of take the Fox pressure, not really being scared of what he's going to do because he has great out of shield options. They're going to be able to stop it. Up smash, catching the landing, and now we're back to even. Yeah, but... That right there is the big downside of Charizard. He's slow and has a big hurt box, so it's <laughs> easy for Ducks to be able to hit him. I was about to say, I thought he was going to get hit by the end of the multi-rapid uh, jab from Fox, but I didn't want to, you know, maybe he was going to choose to do something. Yeah. That's always weird trying to figure out if you're at the right distance to avoid that last hit of the multi hits because a lot of characters just have that extra last hit that just hits a little bit further than the rapid jab. Most characters kind of push out and extend it further. Like yep. Fox here, pretty showcasing that well. Th there's a rare case where some of them just kind of keep the same distance but have more knockback on the finishing blow. But yep. so far, Fox already racking up 100%. And it's very interesting to see him go back to PT so early because it's just, I feel like the percents is going to constantly be stacking up for him. Yep. Using that reflector to deal with the razor leaf. Going to make it a lot more difficult for Cal to get that zoning going. Oh, good patience there, just jumping over that off smash. Able so to close. Oh, that switch oh. was brilliant. That was a clutch moment there. Definitely what they needed to keep themselves alive. And right now, just trying to keep Ducks out here and make it difficult for him to approach and get this kill he needs. They are playing neutral so well. Like The use of the platform that they're both playing around just in this one section is just amazing. Like how much they're actually interacting with each other and like trying their best to outplay the other one just around this one platform. Yep, but well, unfortunately, Duck's going to be the one to get the final out play on that stock there, finding that back air as Cal is covering low, but that oh, up wow. out of Almost shield. Killing. Yeah, it could definitely be a good option to get oh, through, wow. but the forward throw going to be the one to do it here. Practically back to even now, so I think it's going to be really interesting to see that. If he's learned more about how to operate neutral with Squirtle, because I've only seen him really get one winning interaction out of it, and he did get 60%, but so far it's kind of just been Fox running over the sad little Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, Fox just has a lot of options to be able to deal with this close-range combat and... So close to hitting the down air two-frame. Yeah. I mean, Fox is just running rough shot over Cal right now, and it's hard for him to find any safe spot to get back down on the ground. Oh, looking Almost for that Almost catching that. Yeah, I think so far, like, Ivysaur is just Ooh. catching... Yeah. 
that makes sense. Could ledge into this ability is just out because he grabbed it previously. Yep. I have no idea what stage they would go. I wouldn't imagine that somewhere in probably flatter, maybe without the, the platforms. I feel like Ducks was consistently outplaying Cal around the platform. Yep. Just like the movement and kind of the, like, how safe his moves were on shield with the spacing and everything. Yeah, it looks like we're just going to be running it right back to Pokemon Stadium too, though. Just got to figure out what stage song they want. This is how I judge a person. <laughs> Team Galactic is a good choice. Yep. Definitely a lot of misses on the Pokemon soundtrack, but a lot of guaranteed bangers as well. Yeah. I mean, for me, anything Gen 3, get that trumpet going, we're good. <laughs> Gen 3 songs are pretty good. I'm mostly a big fan of the Gen 4. Champion Cynthia is what I try yep. to keep playing every time. Fair enough. Fair if enough. anyone puts on the sun and moon, that is just instantly disrespect. Cannot deal with, uh, like, the champion Zinnia, I think is the name of the song. Oh, oh, I see. We can't have fun here. Is that it? No. <laughs> not with Sun and Moon What about involved, Gladion? No. got to at least respect that, man. Come on. Gladion's pretty good. I'll give there it we that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> as long as we're enjoying <laughs> that one. So far, neutral pretty even, and Cal managing to get off the ledge so far. Mi yeah. mi I can't believe you whiffed that grab. Squirtle's grab range is pretty good, especially with the dash grab, so... Yep, yep. But I mean, just this constant pressure he's keeping up, making it difficult for Cal to find those openings. And even when he tries to jump in, that up tilt just feels like such a good anti here. I think Cal has to play more around how Ducks is like trying to jump in and land, even with a short hop. He's not really just running up grounded and dealing with options. Most of the time he's jumping and then preemptively doing something. So if he's trying to beat that out, just even, oh. yeah, it's going to get beat there. Yeah. I mean, if you're not going to be able to beat him out in the speed game, Maybe switching to Ivysaur or one of the other Pokemon might be the call here. Kind of beating him at the hitbox game, throwing out something bigger that Fox might not be able to deal with. Exactly. Just find out what works against him. There we go. Because like you said right there, just using those out-of-shield options against the aerials is definitely going to be helping him out here. I don't like that F-Smash. It's super committal when you have no reason to be, especially yeah. when Ivysaur has a ton of moves that could kill him depending on where he landed with that side B. Yep. With throw combos, if you land on a platform and up air, might have done the job. Yeah, I mean, even Fair does a good enough job of being able to cover a lot of the space around you. Yeah, I feel like most of the time it's just Cal's choosing to be very committal. Like, even there, it looked like he was maybe even charging another F smash. Yep. And he just got beat up with dash attack for choosing to, you know, stay ground in that position. Yeah, I mean, you've got to be relying more on those quick disjoints that you have as this character. Oh, able to make it down the platform, but that. Up air, such a good poking move once you're sitting on the ground there. It's kind of good to see how well Ducks has conditioned him to like kind of want to retreat back to the platform. And he's consistently been going back to the platform repeatedly Ooh. and keeps running back just to consistently get outplayed and get damage racked up and feel like it's a safe spot when realistically Ducks has total understanding of how the next neutral interaction is most likely going to go. Yeah, and I mean, it just feels like Ducks is definitely getting the most out of those neutral interactions because... Every time they just clank, it just feels like it's more in Ducks' favor. Oh, the left Trump catching him. Yeah. Cal a little upset about that. Yeah, I mean, you got to be ready for your opponent to react. And the problem is Fox is just so fast, it's one of those things that's really hard to react to. Oh, getting sent way off. Okay, he needs one more. Yep, just keep it going. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I think pretty sure two was what I've seen at the, you know, the gumbo Ducks rivalry. Is what kills him pretty much. So now we're back to even. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely another spot where you can take advantage of the Fox because if he's forced to use that up B, it just takes so long to come out that you can really prepare your punish for it. Oh, definitely. I, I would 100% agree that if Fox has to use Fire Fox to come back to the stage, most of the time I think that it's on the player, like the opponent, to kind of punish that and make sure Fox doesn't come back. And that's your, you know, kind of your issue if you're letting him get back constantly with Fire Fox. Yep. So far, already back to Ivysaur around 80%. So Ducks has still gotten a good lead. And, like, there you go, playing back around the platform and losing an interaction because of it. Yep. But there we go. Able to ground, throw him back off. And that's definitely the right call. If you're not going to be able to deal a lot of damage on stage, just force him off and just rack it up as you keep him off the stage. Yeah, I mean, he definitely has the means to win this game. Fox being pretty light can die pretty early to most of what... Charizard and Ivysaur are going to try to be hitting with. Oh, the up smash is just trying to read his movement. 
Yep, but Cal wisely just backing off with these aerials, just making sure that he's playing a keep away game here, not wanting Ducks to get too close to get those kills. Okay. So close, I feel like maybe reading a jump with the up B or just kind of waiting to get back, but just back into another neutral. And I feel like Charizard might not have been the best choice here because he's so slow. And the last hit, like last stack area like this, I feel like you're going to basically, you know, if your total if tournament lifetime's on the line in winter side, that would be a lot. Ooh, dang, catching that committal option. Yeah, fortunately, the front wing able to scoop him up just enough. I mean, I've seen a lot of unfortunate situations where one of the wings hit, but the other doesn't get the follow up. So definitely fortunate to have both of them connect there. I'm honestly really like amazed how close this is with how well. I, I mean, I don't know how recently Ducks has played Gumbo. It's been a while since I've seen Gumbo compete, but it's definitely interesting to see how well Cal is doing because he's, I'd probably say, a recently new competitor from what I understand. So it's good yeah. to see him, you know, keeping it toe to toe with some people who are pretty well, formidable opponents, I'd say. Yeah, and I mean, Cal's definitely doing a good job of starting to understand the game flow that Ducks is playing here, understanding where to push the gas and where to back off. And like right at the end there, that switch to Charizard. It's like he was having a little bit of trouble being able to keep him out, so he wanted to rely more on just that final gambit one hit that he needs instead of just trying to continually zone him out and keep him off stage. I would definitely agree with that. It's pretty smart, especially I think Cal so far, the star of his show has been Ivysaur. He's yep. been him a decent amount of time. and sure he's lost some interactions just due to the speed and the aerial drift not being as good as Squirtles, but that's where he's been getting most of the kills and edge guarding and just kind of like making ducks scared of the constant like nair hitbox something yep. constantly being active and that fox doesn't really have a big disjoint to kind of interact with that so fox still going to be the choice for ducks here going into game three and i believe it was either battlefield or small battlefield they picked we will see in a second small battlefield and they still chose pokemon music you have to respect that yep and this, I feel like, is a very dangerous pick for Cal to be dealing with from Ducks right now because he was having trouble, like you were saying, dealing with Ducks and those platforms. And Small Battlefield, there's not much space between those platforms, so it's easy to keep that platform pressure going on this stage. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I don't think the stage might have been, like, the entirely smartest choice, just especially because, like, like you said, the stage is shorter. So it's like PS2, the two similar platforms that he's probably still going to have the same downloaded information on, but now it takes him less time to get there and make the read he needs to to punish Cal properly. Yeah, so this will definitely be working out in Ducks' favor, which is what he's hoping for since this is his pick. Almost with a two frame on the down tilt. Yep. Jab reset. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Squirtle finally showing up to the party here, getting a good combo, and like you said, that jab reset just paying dividends. I mean, if Cal can keep playing Squirtle relatively well and just kind of keeping out the airspace and reading, you know, Fox's jump ins and playing out of shield correctly, I feel like Squirtle would probably do the best in this matchup. But his Ivysaur is probably just his most comfortable pick. He's definitely just kind of been cruising along with Ivysaur. Yeah, I mean, you definitely have a lot of ways to poke through those platforms with the aerials. And even when you're on top of the platform, just poking. Oh, wow, that grab was so Ooh. smart to just play an empty hop there. And then whiffing that into an up smash. But now. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a tough position, again, starting this early where a lot of Squirtle stuff could start doing pretty good combos. Yep. And, like, right now he's into, like, a pretty sure four tilt and the jab reset is online. Yeah, he just needs to find that opening, but Duck's deciding to slow it down a little bit, make sure that Cal's not able to ride this momentum for too long here. Catching oh. the landing with three up there, it's evening up the percent game pretty yep. well. And that fair as well, just keeping him out there, forcing him to the ledge. Nice use of the Razor Leaf, just keeping him out. I mean, even if it can get reflected, it's a good way to just be able to slow down Fox's approach. I mean, like, even with the Shine being a factor, he can still, like, like what you said, really smart is, like, keeping Fox grounded. So even if you use it to move, like, Fox is staying still and, like, you're either wave bouncing or just using it normally, just getting some of the stage control back. Yep. But I think it's also important that, like, Ivy Swords can also get hit by it Ooh. most of the time. That grab was pretty Jeez. interesting to catch the landing in the shield option. Yeah, and I mean, that's just what they need to be able to close out that stock, and right now, a lot of extra credit coming out. And this is just, it's like, it's such a scary situation, especially being such a lightweight character against Charizard. Oh, do not let that be the end of the game. Oh. Okay, good. I was kind of surprised Cal didn't punish that, but, I mean, if we can see more of these two play, I won't complain. Yeah, and right now, Ducks just doing everything they can to try and close out the stock, but... Charizard surprisingly hard to kill right now. 
I mean, you have to be scared of him. He has such a big threat range. Uh, his shield, if you poke on it incorrectly, you're going to get an out-of-shield option. Yep. None of his grabs or throws kill, so you can sit there and not be scared of just holding shield against Fox. Yeah, exactly. Like, in this situation, it's like kind of scary. Like, what does Fox do other than get a hard read or overcommit for something that happens to work on his favor? Yeah, I mean, that really seems like what Cal is playing for right now because he knows that Ducks is the one that has to make the move. Almost at the ledge front that ended the last game. Okay. Yeah, able to get the roll in, though, so going to be able to take off that second stock, and now we got, a, again, another final stock, final game situation. And this is how they started the last stock, so, you know, maybe this could be Cal's game if he can just keep playing on a seam roll he's going on. Mm. Good call, force him off. Oh, Down good. smash is a little strange, but still not getting too punished for a situation. Yep. Oh, and then... Goodbye. Ooh. That's very impressive. Cal definitely, like, the Squirtle game one and game two was looking very shaky, but the fact yeah. that he's like, wait, I have F-Tilt. <laughs> he started, like, just <laughs> using that move as a, as a really good tool to just poke around in neutral. Like, that was, I don't know, I really